Hello. Hello. <laughs> I am at the gyno today, and you guys won't find out until a while. <laughs> but since this is yeah, since this is my first video of me going to the gyno, you know, we just want to say hello. Thing, thing, thing. <laughs> Have a good one, thank you. So, yeah, this is not the top, this is two. So, I'm missing three light up than I thought. Okay, we're at three, but we were. I'm gonna take this off. So, yeah, so we are pregnant. Oh, let me see that little. Yeah, so we're like uh, eight weeks, nine days. Well, according to that was at Monday. Today is Thursday, so maybe nine weeks now. But by my first calculations, it was um, it's still at eight weeks. Anyways, I am here right now. Put my mask on. Oh, my hair is yet. I forgot when you come this early. I always take a few moments. Good morning. I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm here and I'm excited. I'm excited to just, I've already know that baby's okay. I call him uh, Green Bean. So I already know Green Bean is okay. Cause I've been to the hospital twice. So that's for certain. But I'm just excited to finally uh, be able to have um, somebody else to go into consistently, you know instead of the hospital because the hospital is a mess that wait time is ridiculous like i was there for almost 12 hours and the wait time i was waiting out eight out of that 12 hours so yeah it was a mess i'm not trying to do that anymore and i don't know if i'll keep this i don't know if i'll keep sunlight i did it with zay so i had the zay through sunlight I had Dr. Bliss, which, which was nice. He was cool. He was really nice. Um, but I don't know if I'll be keeping sunlight. I just couldn't find another doctor for this insurance, so they're here. But I will check back in in a little while. No, there's no video in, so just, just, just maybe after I get out. Okay. So, guys, I just got out. Um, I realize I don't. Like I asked questions, but I guess I never asked the important questions. Um, so, like I didn't know I was, um, what do you call it? Um, I can't think of it now. High, high risk. Yeah, like, oh, what is that? I didn't know I was high risk. Apparently, once you have one C-section, you're considered high risk. What is that? Is this the mask coming off or is it my skin being dry? I think it's my skin being dry. I have extreme dry skin. Anyways. So yeah. So I had confirmed that with her. She let me know. Yes, you're high risk. Once you have a C-section, you're really considered high risk. There's different levels of high risk, but you're considered high risk. Um, another thing is... Um, she said, I can't have, I can't do natural birth. She says, once you have, once you have more than one C-section, I've kind of recorded a conversation. I know that's kind of like privacy type thing, but I have a bad memory and it's hard to trust people now because I realize everybody tell me something different. So I do that. But anyways, um, she say, I cannot give birth naturally anymore and I feel like that's not true but maybe because of risk she might be saying that but I, I said but I said to her I said I thought oh I thought you could have give birth when you even when you have two six sections she's like nope can't give birth not possible so y'all let me know I know I know I, I've known of people who given birth after having c-section um, multiple times um, naturally but I always knew that there is a higher risk that I won't be able to 
because my babies always come before time, five weeks uh, before time. So there's a possibility that I won't be able to. But if there is a chance, I would like to take that chance, you know. I would like to chat. No, C sections are painful. Nobody really talks about C sections like that, but they're painful. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think I want to just the experience of pushing and probably looking down and seeing the baby head or something full of hair or something. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, today's my first day. They try to get blood. The lady was tapping on my vein, tapping on my vein, and I know they're not supposed to do that. But I just let people do what they do. If it works for them, do what you do. Just get it done. Anyways, my veins are super tiny. She didn't get no blood. Most people don't get no blood. Um, so I'm going to have to come back the time of my appointment for my um, ultrasound. I'm going to have to come back to have blood join. Yay! So she's like, drink water, 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 which I usually do. Still never really works, but today I didn't get a chance to drink water. I didn't know they was going to draw blood. Draw blood recently at the hospital a couple times. So I thought, okay, maybe they can get the information from the hospital. They're telling me that's not how it works. So, And then I had to pay $10. I had a packet that shows that I was pregnant from the hospital. And that's what they asked me for. They asked me for my discharge information from the hospital. The hospital never give you things with, they never give you any paperwork telling you, oh, they done this genetic testing or they, they done this, the level of your HCG or they never give you nothing like that. It just shows you that they did measurement and how big they think the baby is. Anyways, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. And then I have to, I'm canceling one insurance so I can have Medicaid because that insurance is a killer. Cigna is... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, but that's it um, again you guys will see a lot of these videos at the time of me revealing my pregnancy which is at 12 weeks is the plan um, 12 weeks I guess is the you know it's a better chance or a lower chance of a miscarriage um, I know miscarriage can happen anytime but I'm not going to be mentioning that word very much um, but yeah, so I will, you guys will be seeing all of these videos at after 12 weeks or so. Um, yeah, I am, I am scared for my journey because there's a lot of things going on in my life. So I am scared for my journey, but I am also excited. Um, at first I was very unsure. Um, no. Now... I don't care what what obstacles are brought my way. I don't care. I have a baby in me. And I am happy. Yeah, I'm content and I'm going to I'm going to do the best that I can. That's what I always do. You know, that's what I always do. But anyways, I'm talking too much. I'm talking too much. Thank you again for joining me, guys. You know, we have two YouTube channels, uh, Royal Fernander, and I believe my uh, Brittany Royal is, she is Royal365. I think the tag, we had to do YouTube tag, so I think that's it. I can't remember. I got to keep up. But yeah, please follow, follow both YouTube channels. So, uh, Royal Fernanders for the children, family type, and Brittany Royal, which you will see more of me posted posting Britannia Royal. You're going to see a lot more of that. Uh, pregnancy, everything. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye.